Hi guys, this is、uh, number six in your chapter eleven homework.、Uh, so Charles, Gilberto, and Lorenzo are lumberjacks who live next to the forest that is open to logging. In other words, in other words, anyone is free to use the forest for the for logging. Now, um, here where it says anyone is free to use the forest for logging, um, you should know this is means what this is means non-excludable, right? So anybody can come do it. So we cannot exclude somebody from consuming this good. That's non-excludable. Okay. So assume that this man are the only three lumberjacks who log in this forest, and the forest is large enough large enough for all three lumberjacks to log intensively at the same time. Uh, each year, the lumberjacks choose independently how many acres of tree to cut down. Specifically,、uh, they choose whether to log intensively,、uh, that is, to clear cut a section of the forest, which hurt the sustainability of the forest if enough if enough people do it, or to log non-intensively, which does not hurt the sustainability of the forest.、Uh, none of them are, has the ability to control how much the other log. And each lumberjack care only about his own pro,、uh, profitability, and not about the state of the forest. So, which means everybody is very selfish. They only care about themselves.、Um, assume that as long as no more than one lumberjack log intensively,、uh, there are enough trees to regrow the forest. However, if two or more log intensively, the forest will become useless in the future. Of course, logging intensively earns lumberjack more money and a greater profit because it can sell more trees. All right, so the fourth example of、um, so we said this would be non-excludable,、uh, non-excludable, and also this would be called rival in consumption because if other people cut down the tree,、uh, there wouldn't be enough tree for me anymore in the future. So there is a rival in consumption. So. So if too many people cut the tree down, then I'm getting worse off, right? So this will be not relevant consumption. So this this definition of a common resource, okay.、Um, all right. So depending on whether Gilberto and Lorenzo both choose to lock their、uh, lock either non-intensively or intensively, fill in Charles' profit maximizing response in the following table, giving Gilberto and Lorenzo's action. All right. So、um, so for Charles over here. If、um, Gilberto and Lorenzo's action is to log non-intensively, now remember for for this forest to be sustainable in the future,、um, as long as only one person or no more than one person log intensively, we're doing fine, right? So the key, so key again, remember is only one person can do it. On, not a highlighter. So only one person can really cut on the tree or、really、intensively cut on the tree. The other two people,、um, not too much. So not too much. So if this is the case,、uh, so if if Gilberto and Lorenzo both choose not to cut down too many trees, then if you are Charles, you should cut down as many trees as you can, because、um, that case the forest will still be sustainable, and then you're getting more profit coming from、uh, you know cutting down more trees by yourself. Now on the other hand,、um, if、uh, the other two people, so. Uh, Lorenzo and Gilberto decide to cut down a lot of trees.、Um, if you are Charles, what should you do? Now the answer is you should cut down a lot of trees too. Because if you don't, now remember this forest is only sustainable if if no more than one person cut down a lot of trees. But if two people does it, this forest will be gone next year, right? So before it's gone. Um, for Charles, you should cut down as many trees as possible before it's all gone, because this forest is finished. So it doesn't matter what the other two party does. For Charles, he should cut down as many trees as possible, because cutting down trees will give him more profit. Okay, so、um, so let's go back. So he will cut down intensively, and also intensively. All right. So,、um, by the way, this is a term in Chapter Eleven. It's called tragedy of the common.、Um, so, if you know, don't know what that is, look up in the in the textbook. Okay. So, called, again, it's called tragedy of common.、Um, so, which of following a solution will ensure the forest is is sustainable in the long run? Assume that regulation is enforceable. So, what can we do to make sure this forest won't be gone in the future? Now, first,、um, all law intensive logging. That will work, right? Just just tell everybody you cannot cut down too many trees.、Um, second, develop a program that entices more lumberjack to move to the area. Now this is not good, 
this this will cause potentially more problem because there are more lumberjack moving into the area that wouldn't be good for the forest that'd be bad for the forest um, and last one says convert the forest into private property and allow the owner to sell logging right um, this one might work too because if the forest is private property then the the person will have an interest in the sustainability of the forest and they he or she might increase the price of logging right which might reduce number of trees be cutting down okay all right so let's turn it in so we get it right so good now all right um got all the points for chapter for number six all right guys so this is how the number six um have any question let me know okay good luck bye bye